Very nice. Thank you, Jay. I went Christmas for you today. I was going to say, you look like a baked potato wrapped in foil there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. No, that's cute. Well, that's right. And, and, and the boots that go with it, very I nice. I mean, you know what? Here's to the women out there. You don't always have to spend a, a fortune. These are Steve Madden. I know you don't care, and I'm glad you don't know, I'm glad you don't know the, the brand. Right. But these were not expensive. No, but you know, and I have to say, you are right on both counts. I don't care, and I don't know the brand. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, and so I, I think if we were dating, I would be very relieved. Yes. Yeah, so, well, if we, if we were dating, I would be in a lot of trouble. Okay. So let's just leave it at that. Okay. Now, I saw you sang with Kelly in New York during a season premiere. Yes. That was very cool. Yeah, yeah. She picked a song, Jay, on top of the world that, like, hardly anybody would ever pick. And we just, we got, it was really hot for some reason that day. And she, I showed up in three inch heels and she had her Converse on. And she's like, we're just gonna walk down. And there was like hot dog sellers and like people taking our pictures like, and we're singing. She's like, just ignore them. Just ignore them. <laughs> and we just had the best time. I'm proud of her. I'm oh really no, proud she's of her. great, yeah. <laughs> Well, let me ask you this. How excited are you that Broadway is back? That's your life. That's, that's, that's where you come from. Well, anything with a live audience, Jay, and you right. know. Right. It's been like having y'all here today. Right. Well, I saw, her, I saw her live show at the Disney Theater. Yes, you And did. it was really just an amazing show. Because there's so many tricks on TV. You know, they, they add sound and they mix things. And but to see somebody with pure voice just come out and sing, it really was an amazing <laughs> evening. It really was. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. Now. Now, tell me about this. You're going to play Dolly Parton in a musical? Well, I want to. <laughs> I'm lacking a couple things, and I think we both know what they are. I didn't say it. <laughs> he didn't say it. No, she has said before, in the past, several times, that she does see me uh, as someone who could play her. And, and I just want to say, Dolly, where's the camera? Where's my camera? <laughs> Dolly, hurry up. <laughs> I'm ready. Yeah. I think that would be, uh, yeah, well, I mean, you could obviously have the voice for it. Yeah, they can yeah. sing. Yeah. I just grew up listening to her, and, you know, I do a pretty good, like, I just, you know, um, here you come again. Oh, like, that's, that's my good. favorite. Oh. See, I'm thinking, I got to go with Jolene. Jo Jolene, Jolene, Jolene. I mean, come on. I, I uh, there you go. I remember seeing Dolly Parton, nobody else would know this, on Candid Camera when she was very young. I remember Candid Camera. Yeah, but Dolly Parton, she was just a young girl, but she, she would stand on the street corner and, oh, could someone carry me across this puddle? There's a puddle of water. And guys would come and pick her up and carry her across them. It was like the funniest. You should ask her about that when you she's, see her. I'm sure she's, she's so forgotten smart. about it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Now, are you going to move to Nashville now? Is that, that what I hear? Actually, I am going to. I'm going to keep my place in New York. I'll right. never not be a New Yorker, Jay. You right. do that. But I am moving. I've actually bought a place in Nashville. I just want to go. I love it there. Right. You know, I just love it there. It feels like home. we got to talk about The Voice. Oh, yeah. Because this is Kelly's voice. show. Uh-huh. Now, you were an advisor on the show, but you were working against Kelly. Is that true? Yeah. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> That is a fact. I, <laughs> I feel like I need to take a shower now. Thanks a lot. <laughs> um, Ariana Grande, I've known since she was 10 years right. old, and she called and asked if I would um, if I would be her advisor, and we have been stayed very close, and I said right. yes. But besides Kelly's team, I think Ariana's team is very good. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, 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 there you go. There you go. Now, I, did you guys, you and Ariana, you used to go on double dates? Is that true? <laughs> We've had some, well, not to, you know, not as a couple, which there's nothing wrong with that. But no, we, yeah. with other, you know, partners, yeah, we had some dates. Right. Yeah. But not when she was 10. No. <laughs> and then I'd be in jail. Well, that's right, exactly. <laughs> but we just go and we, we like bowling. We like truffle pizza from Craig's here in L.A. Have you ever had our tr truffle pizza? Now, what kind of pizza? The truffle pizza. At okay, Craig's. all right there. Okay, no. Have you had it? No, I haven't. Oh. And it, in my family, I would be beaten if I oh. had a truffle pizza. No, and I, you know what? It's when like I, pineapple on a pizza. It's I a, agree, but no, I'm. You're wrong on this. Just will yeah. you trust me? Will you trust me, Jack? 
the cheap Italian food is the best Italian. Why don't you put truffles on it and some pig going <laughs> on my pizza? Uh, you know, I, I, no, it doesn't. That, no, it's that, yum. No, all right, all You're right. missing out. Right now, what can we expect on the Christmas album? Tell me about it. You know what I was thinking about. Because it doesn't it feel like Christmas was canceled for like two years or something? Yeah, yeah, it does. So I, I was pretty down in the dumps and not being able to perform live, but doing other kinds of work that I also enjoy. But I like a live crowd, and so. Yeah. yeah. You were just booing her a minute ago. What a bunch of hypocrites! <laughs> what are you doing to yeah, them? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna say, yeah. So I was thinking about the, t uh, the fill for the album, and I went to Nashville to record it with some of the best musicians, and we had partitions, and we had our masks, and I said, it's we are light. We are light for each other. We see the light is coming at the end of the tunnel. Right. And I have Keb Mo on there doing a, a, a blue, I, how dare I do a blues song, but we're doing Merry Christmas Baby, and it just, it's, um, it's a lot of songs y'all know, and then a couple that aren't. There's a song on there I wrote called, I co-wrote called Santa, I Got a Bone to Pick with You. Oh, okay. It's about the crappy presents you get for Christmas. Really? Well, that's, I think, the real meaning of Christmas. <laughs> is the, you know, complaining about the crappy gift that, that someone took a lot of love and time to, to, to look for. And, I and, mean, and you contacts, think it's a, it, mismatched it, socks, it happened to me. Okay. Now you have a song in this one. Why can't Christmas? Why can't? Why Christmas, can't it be Christmas every day? Why can't it be why Christmas? Why can't it be Christmas every freaking day? Well, no, that would be. But that wouldn't work. Yes. Then you need another holiday. You need Super <laughs> Christmas. You need something. You can't, it's like champagne. If you drink it every day, you're an alcoholic. <laughs> you know, it's like a special occasion. Are you thing. telling me you'd be tired of Christmas every single day, getting presents and going to see all your. No, kids? no, I'd be tired of buying presents oh. every single day. Okay, <laughs> guys, buy presents. Guys, is that pretty much what it is? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's bad enough we got Valentine's Day. That's a, <laughs> somehow the wool got pulled over our eyes on that one. The middle of February, I need a gift. What? <laughs> so no, Christmas every day would be a nightmare. Oh my God. Oh my but, God. but a gift can be just something like a smile. Oh now yeah, guys, guys. You, you know something? No, I'll give you a perfect example. A friend, a friend of mine, <laughs> For his 25th wedding anniversary, he told me, I said, oh, what'd you get her? He said, I got her a bread maker. I go, okay, first of all, on the 20th, you don't give your wife a bread, why don't you give her a broom or a vacuum while you're at it, you know? <laughs> he goes, oh, I think you're crazy, okay? And then she starts to open it, and she goes, is this a joke? He goes, yeah, your regular gift is like... <laughs> <laughs> luckily, he thought, luckily, he thought fast. He got, it, it was late coming, so I got this as a gag. And he managed to avoid the bullet, but then he, he said... Two days that, that, that's right, that's right. That, and that's, that's literally what it took. So no. don't give me a smile. Shut up. <laughs> uh, oh, just a smile, yeah. <laughs> now, what, what holiday traditions do you have back in Oklahoma? Well, we eat, and then we oh, eat. Oh, really eating? Well, and then we eat some more. Well, oh, real? oh, okay, there you and go. And then we pray, and then we eat. <laughs> and <laughs> we pray about all the things we've eaten. Yeah, we pray for more food, all right. I mean, are there any sort of Oklahoma, real Oklahoma well, traditions that you have? I mean, my dad, there's a channel with one. What is that? Um, he, he always says, now this year we're gonna go around the table, we're gonna tell everybody what we're most grateful for. I'm like, okay, you first. Yeah. <laughs> because he it doesn't like to cry. And so he'll go, well, I'm most, uh, excuse me. <coughs> yeah. I'm most proud of my, oh, no. <laughs> And I just like to watch him suffer. <laughs> oh, this is, well, you really have the spirit of Christmas. I think it's right. <laughs> now, speaking of Oklahoma, I have to ask about this. Uh, tell me about this throwback cheerleading photo. Can we put that up Which there? Which one? Where is it? There it is. There it is right there. Oh! <laughs> well, the, now, I got to... How many 40-year-olds are still in high school? Look at that picture. <laughs> I'm so upset by my hairdo. And by the way, the pom-poms when I was young were as big as me. And I remember having to do a tick check after that, Jay. A tick check? We were out in the woods. Oh, oh my hair. Oh, my hair. Oh, I, th oh, those are I thought those were dead animal at your feet. <laughs> <laughs> It looks like some dead zebra uh, hybrid. No, we were the tigers.
years. I love, I mean, oh, what, what so is it about old, why do people look older in old photos? Because I mean, we're always, are we not always trying to look older, y'all? And yeah. then when you get to be at about 30, you're like, let's stop that train. Right, right, right. <laughs> no, but, but, but it's going too fast. But now. it's going yeah. too fast. <laughs> oh, my hair. Let's never show that oh, again. No.